Zoom in on your badge. You better turn the badge over here. All right, so I'm with Eddie Kappelman from Biomatrix, who yeah. is yeah. exhibiting for the first time. Yeah, it's first time here, yeah. So can you tell me how the event has been for you? Very successful. Many people uh, asking questions what it, what it is, uh, what we're doing here. Um, obviously the main uh, importance for us is to come to North America to show the product. Huge market in North America for indoor mapping. Uh, indoor mapping is uh, for us a uh, revolution, we think, uh, the next revolution. We've seen what MMS has done for outside, what that can do now for the inside, all the buildings in, in the world that can be mapped, indoor mapping. Um, so we've uh, developed this system, uh, IMMS, mobile mapping system for indoor mapping. Uh, it doesn't use any uh, GPS, GNS, um, and it doesn't use any IMU. Uh, it uses a, um, a system called SLAM, which is uh, simultaneous uh, location and mapping, which is a uh, technology derived from auto autonomous vehicles, robots. Um, and we use a, a laser scanner to, uh, to scan and, and build up a 2D map. And you start from, from the first point, as soon as you move off from that first point, that's the zero point, and the whole map is then built up from that point. Okay. And then, as you as you walk around with the uh, with the device, wheel it around, you actually see a 2D map being uh, built mm -hmm. in front of your eyes. So it's, it's real time 2D map. So you can see what you've mapped. Uh, and we use a, a 3D um, we use a ladybug uh, 360 camera to do the uh, texturization. Um, so we could maybe. Walk around this particular room. Maybe it takes about 20 minutes to scan. Come back, and then we do some post-processing. Within 40 minutes, we'll have a 3D point cloud, which is one to two centimeter accuracy. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, it's not uh, hugely accurate compared to some of the static scanners out there. The precision on those systems, uh, you know, millimeter, millimeter accuracy. But uh, it takes a long time to do a to scan a building with a static scanner set up, scan, move, scan, move, scan, move, scan, then you have to correlate all that together. It takes a huge amount of time to do that, whereas our system, uh, we can do it much quicker. So it's huge savings. Uh, the markets, probably uh, all the indoor malls, you can think of, all those could be scanned. Uh, you could, uh, chemical stations, uh, nuclear power stations, where maybe uh, GPS is, isn't, isn't uh, welcome. Uh, so that's another, another industry there. Yeah, so um, yeah, very good show for us. We've had a lot of interest. Uh, North America is obviously a key, key industry. We're looking for dis distributors. That's the next thing. We need to uh, find a distributor in North America that can handle the business for us. So yeah. And have you, you've seen, I'm guessing, mostly end users here? Yeah, all, all, all kinds of people have come to us and asked us questions. Uh, Architects as well, yeah, all sorts of people. Yeah, many end users as well. It's, it's important for people to understand you know, the technology we can do. Yeah. Just sit back and think, all those buildings out there can be scanned. You know, uh, another, another point which is interesting, maybe uh, scanning uh, building, buildings uh, which have uh, problems due to earthquakes. Where you could scan a building and come back six months, scan it again very quick, and you can superimpose the scan and you can see where the building's moved. It should be interesting. Okay, very good. Yeah.